I want you to watch. We got to beware of the lap dogs. You know what a lap dog is? Let me even know what a real lap dog is. Y'all know what a lap dog is? Let me tell you nobody in this room knows what a lap dog is. Y'all know what a lap dog is? A lap dog is them little frou-frou dogs. Them, them, them dogs that gets more hair appointments than the people that own them. them. A lap dog's got more bling on its collar than your wife's got on her hand. I mean a lap dog, a little, a little frou-frou dog. And, and them lap dogs, you know what they've got to have? They've got to be petted all the time. And they can If some of y'all talk to your wife like you do your dog, your romance level would be like a number 10. That <laughs> lap dog's got to be petted. That lap dog's got to be loved on. He's got to get treats. He's got to get his little nails done. He's got to have a Christmas sweater. Can I get a frou-frou amen right there? And that little lap dog has got to be babied and petted and treated special. And, uh, yeah, I have gone to church with some lap dogs. <laughs> and, and, and preacher got to say their name every now and then. And they got to get patted on the back for everything they do. And everybody's got to acknowledge them. And everybody has to cater to them. And they'll show up about once a month mad, just hoping everybody will ask them what they're mad about. That matter of fact, and then they'll not only show up once a month mad, they'll stay home once a month mad, just waiting by the phone to see who's going to call to see what's wrong with the lap dog. Now, I'm sorry if I'm getting down there in your cereal and splashing all your milk out tonight. Only thing I can say is just don't be a lap dog. Don't need to be petted all the time. Don't need to be loved on all the time. Don't need to get treated. Now, I'm telling you, we're laughing tonight, but I know people full well that will come to this church and they and listen, they won't get treated just like everybody else gets treated. Same amount of handshakes, same amount of neck hugs, same amount of encouragement, but they'll leave bowed up and mad because they was looking for a reason to get mad when they got here. And they're a lap dog. And uh, lap dogs don't tend to do well around Greater Life Baptist Church. Here's a little Bible. Paul said, I couldn't speak to you as spiritual but as carnal because you was babes in Christ. You had to have hair appointments and nail appointments and had to have your diamond studded collar and use a lap dog and you didn't want to be nothing but a lap dog and now we have to watch out for you because you are a hindrance to our walk with God because that lap dog mentality is contagious.